Hello, good morning everyone. Anyway, today is kind of a cool day in Texas and uh, I decided that uh, I'm gonna do a fish head soup. I'm gonna make it out of redfish. Once in a while, you know what I mean, you catch some redfish, you save some stuff and uh, hopefully one day you're gonna make something out of it. Well, today I'm gonna make some fish head soup with a little bit of Filipino uh, touch to it. This is what we're working with right here. Got the red fish right here. I gotta clean it up. Got the collar right here. And I uh, gotta take all the scales off. Yeah, there you go. Right there, that's what we're working with. And uh, I'm gonna clean it up and uh, get some water boiling and... Okay, after all that, this is what I got. Got some pieces, I got some collar, got the head parts, got the cheek area. Right there, that's what I got right now. What we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna start boiling some water. And let's put all this together. Yeah, of course I got my rice done already, man, right here. Already done, ready to go. Check that out. Make sure you have your rice going. I got my pot right here. Let's turn it on. Turn it on on high. We got it boiling. And this is what we have. We have onions. I got some lemon. I got some uh, <clears throat> lemon grass right here. I picked from my plants. I got this gourd plant. It's called patola. It's it's like a somewhat of a step up cucumber or something. I don't know, but it's called patula. And uh, got my uh, <clears throat> tomatoes right here. And uh, this right here, you can get this at you know H E B or some of your local uh, Asian market or the gourmet section. It's uh, made out of tamarind paste and uh, that's what we'll put on on the soup let's get this thing boiling and let's put this together all right all right here we go here we go we got it boiling thing is boiling right there we're gonna put a lemongrass in there put some of these tomatoes I wouldn't put that one in look like that's been there a while but put your tomatoes in there and uh, put a little bit of colors we got some peppers I like putting them in there whole so they won't break apart got your lemon and we got your onions there you go Make sure they're all happy in there right now. Kind of stir it up a little bit. And in this one you can start adding your uh, preferred spices. I got some garlic herbs right here. You know, it's up to you on how flavorful do you want this thing. You know, you can measure it if you want. But me, I prefer I can, you know, I can gauge it basically. There's some a little bit of black pepper. It should be good. And my favorite, my favorite is this Cavender all-purpose Greek seasoning. I'm telling you, man, you should try this stuff. Got to put some in there. It's not too salty. Give it some uh, flavor. But uh, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put some of these uh, mamacitas, sinigang na sampalok. Sampalok means um, tamarind. Yeah, normally used on seafood, but that's what we're doing. Fish. Just uh, put some in there. This will make it more sour, you know. Me, I prefer to put the whole the whole thing in there. Give it so flavorful. 
And then uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna let it boil all over again, let all that stuff cook, and then we'll put the fish in. And then when it boils again, everything should be done. All right. taste it. You gotta taste it. Pretty sour, but that's how soup should be. Ah, that's pretty good stuff, man. Alright, everything is in there right now. We got the fish in, we got the gourd plant, everything is in there right now. And we just got to give it about, a, I'll say about 20 minutes, let it simmer. And uh, can't wait, because I know this is going to be awesome. But anyway, you know, there's a lot of fish here in Corpus Christi, but you just got to have that fish head soup once in a while. And uh, tell you what, man, those redfish collars and their belly section area, those things are pretty awesome for making soups. And also the backbone if you want to keep that, but I didn't go that far today. But uh, hey, I'll get back with you and uh, when I have a bowl and some rice in there and we'll test it out. Does not look wonderful. Let me uh, get a little bit of taste of the soup here, so we can get some adjustment going on. Perfect. Perfect, right there. When you think it's done, you know, what you do is you turn it off. It's off right now, and we, uh, we put the lid on, and let it let it sit right there for a while you know it's already off and just move it aside move it to the next grill right there and uh we just let it sit me i just barely crack it about it right there kind of let it cool. we're at that ready mode we got our plate set up over here check it out yeah we got some little vegetables in there and some fish parts. You know, we got the collar and the stomach area. And we got some dry white rice over here. A little bit of veggie. And this is some little peppers with uh, soy sauce, a little bit of vinegar. And some calamansi juice. And that would be used for, for your fish. You know what I mean? You can dip it in there and then eat it with your rice. And... Um, We'll be right back for that moment and uh, let you guys know this uh, fish head soup, red fish, is unbelievable fish. Anyway, I'm rambling on. <laughs> okay, sige mga kababayan, folks, here we are. Uh, the moment of truth. It's time to taste our fruits of our labor. And uh, fish head soup with the collars and the belly. And this is what it looks like right there, ready to go. First off, we're gonna taste the soup first. Pretty good stuff, man. What I do is I put the soup, a little bit in your rice, a little bit of this calamansi juice with some pepper, maybe just one pepper. It's pretty hot stuff. I taste some of your meat right here. This is the belly section. You know, make sure there's no bones. You know, put a little bit of veggie in there. A little bit more of this sauce. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Bottoms up. Mm. 
Mmm. Wow. Flavor just burst in your mouth, man. Unbelievable. Eat a little bit of this pepper. This is awesome, man. This meat just falls apart right there on the collar. Check it out. Right here. You said by far the collared meat is uh, one of the tastiest fish parts in the fish. There we go. A little bit of scale. It was important. Make sure you get the scales out. But man, I'll tell you what. It doesn't get cold in Corpus Christi as long as you have this soup. And uh, anyway, you like me to do more videos, and uh, so you can get notified. You can uh, subscribe, share, and um, anyway, uh, I'll keep going. Hey, I hope you like my content, and uh, see what we can do next. Till next time.